Sticky, sweaty, and summer feels on this Monday as municipal pools around the state open their doors for swimming. The heat wave couldn't have come at a better time. This is a, this is a big date, uh, June 22nd. Municipal pools are finally able to reopen. Jim Butler, the rec program coordinator who oversees the Monmouth Parks, says this will be a different summer than ever before. Well, it's going to be historic, and that's the word we keep using over and over again. That we've never had a summer like this before. The private and public swimming pools will reopen at 50% capacity, but will come with many new rules. Really, we've been asked to just more encourage and monitor social distancing. We probably put people come, have a good time. If you're with your own household, if you guys are closer than that, that's perfectly fine. So it's just a matter of just having conversations with people and just and just discussions and reminding them of the social distancing. We usually have more seating arranged around the pool area, but um, with the current restrictions and trying to maintain that social distancing. But according to Dr. Amy Edwards, being in a swimming pool can be one of the safest places for our health coming out of this pandemic. If you think about our water supply, the level of chlorine that we have in our water is sufficient to kill any virus. Viruses have a really hard time living in those kinds of environments. However, indoor swimming pools such as at the YMCA will remain closed until further notice, as well as the spray water park here at Doorbrook in Colts Neck. We're working on that there. Spray parks are in the same category as water parks. So our spray park over at Doorbrook, we are anxiously awaiting a date um, from the state on when we can open it. It's a little tougher to maintain some kind of social distancing um, with the excitement of all of those water elements that are there. The state is waiting to hear from Governor Murphy about reopening water amusement parks, but in the meantime, pools will likely be heavily occupied with the hot weather to come. Looking at the forecast, we know we've got some hot steamy days and that's usually when we have high attendance. Reporting from Monmouth County for New Jersey News Network, I'm Kimberly Kravitz.